Materials you will need are PDMS, Nickel PDMS 4 to 1, Nickel PDMS 1 to 1, Thermochromic PDMS 1 to 20, Waffle Pack, Pitcher Dish, Magnum, Push Pin, Copper Tape, and a 9 volt battery. Now we start with Nickel PDMS 1 to 1. Pour it into the first column of a waffle pack. Wait for a couple seconds and make sure it spreads out evenly. Now we move on to Nickel PDMS 4 to 1. Again, pour the mixture into the second column of the waffle pack and wait for a couple seconds. We now have PDMS precursor without any nickel. Fill out the rest of the columns. And have it set for 30 seconds. Now we are ready to put it on a hot plate. Set the temperature to 100 degrees C and place a waffle pack on the top for 10 minutes. After it is cured, you can take it off the hot plate and put it aside to cool down. While we are waiting, we can pour thermochromic PDMS onto the cover of a waffle pack. And then have a cure on the hot plate for 10 minutes, you will see it change its color. Now we remove the nickel dough PDMS pad from the waffle pack carefully. Same thing with thermochromic PDMS pad. Nickel dough PDMS electrical and thermal properties. Place the thermochromic pad on the top of nickel dough PDMS pad Put them together on a hot plate at 100 degrees C. About PDMS 4 to 1 color starts to change. The area above nickel PDMS 1 to 1 also starts to change color from orange to white and then plant PDMS follows. This shows nickel PDMS 4 to 1 has higher thermal conductivity than nickel PDMS 1 to 1 and plant PDMS. This tells us thermal properties can be changed by adding different concentration of nickel powder. Now we are going to cut the nickel PDMS pad into pellets. Use two strips of copper tape as electrodes, one on the top, the other on the bottom. Make sure copper tape has good contact with the pallet, otherwise you will create large contact resistance. Now we can test nickel PDMS 1 to 1 pallet. Before measurements, make sure copper tape are not shredded together. It shows open circuit, which means nickel concentration is too low to have noticeable effect on electrical resistivity. Let's check out its magnetic properties. Here comes a magnet. Now we move on to nickel PDMS 4 to 1. Once again, make sure there's no shorting. Electrical resistance is on the order of mega ohms. What happens if you connect it with a 9 volt battery and LED? You can reduce electrical resistance of the pallet by squeezing it. That's what LED is going on and off depending on the application of pressure. Let's take a closer look. The harder you press the pallet, the smaller the resistance and the brighter the LED. You can't. Not. You can't. Nickel dough PDMS self-assembling. 
pour nickel dopidimus into a pitcher dish. It will slowly fill the dish. Place a magnet directly underneath the pitcher dish. You can see nickel dopidimus move around and change its shape due to the magnetic field. You can also add a push pin and see how it changes magnetic fields and the shape of nickel dopidimus. After it is cured, spikes stay after removing magnets.